not a great win, but we'll take it. Nothing like blowing an 18 point lead. My grandma texted me said, what happened? And I said it was a terrible halftime speech. Um, <laughs> so we have a lot to learn from this one. I think we needed it, we needed a test. And the more you get tested early, the better you'll be going into conference. And that's what all of your non-conference schedule is about. That's a really good team. In my opinion, it's a top 25 team. They have had big wins. They have three great players surrounded by a great cast. So oh, we're happy to get out of here with a win. Take our first question from Cora and then Maria. Um, Talaysia Cooper just, I mean, she had some really great moments where she was fueling the team. And then there was a moment in the you know, third quarter when you call a timeout, you're getting on her. And, you know, she said she knows that you, you do it because you care and she appreciates it. But I guess, what did you think of her performance tonight from, you know, the highs of, you know, that block in the first quarter to, you know, when you did have to kind of check her a bit um, midway through the third? Yeah, I appreciate the fact that she can handle it and be resilient and just keep playing. And she doesn't, I think our whole team tonight, we, we knew that they were going to go on a run and we didn't just melt and pout and quit and panic. We just continued to be resilient, which is big. And the more we can see that, the better. And she was a really good example of that. It was just, she was frustrated, she was frustrated, she was frustrated, and then she got over it. Maria and Ryan. Coach, you called this game a measuring stick game. You said you would learn a lot about your team. How would we play behind? How would we play with a big lead? What did you learn about? your team tonight because a lot of those scenarios actually came into play yeah I think I learned we are resilient but we still don't understand pace and for us 18 points is nothing 20 points is nothing 22 points is nothing so it could be made up in a quarter it could be blown in a quarter and I've done this I played this way a long time and you have to see it to believe it and there's been multiple times we've been down 19 going into the fourth quarter and come back and won in regulation and when we've had those conversations with them I think maybe now they're going to understand it. And so we got to do better. Our third quarters are terrible. So we got to do a better job at halftime of just making sure that we don't look at the scoreboard and then start to take bad shots and take our foot off the gas and not play as hard. And hopefully hopefully that's one box check that we've learned that and we can start learning something else. Z hit that game winning shot. Was that about the look you were hoping to get? And what was your vantage point watching that? No, probably not the look we were trying to get. Definitely not the look we were trying to get, but I was happy that she took it. Uh, she didn't just settle for another three, which she could have done. I thought we took some bad shots down the stretch. She was poised. She was under control. She believed in it. She had some huge offensive rebounds for us down the stretch, too. I think our offensive rebounding in that fourth quarter won us the game. Casey, and then Paige. If Talaysia doesn't get over that frustration in the third, you know, game could have gone a little bit differently. As a coach, how do you or how can you kind of get a player out of a frustration slump? Yeah, it kind of depends on the player. There's been a lot of players I've not been able to get out of their frustration slump. And you can love on them, you can yell at them, you can try every coaching tactic in the book. And so she was just able to get through it because she wants to win. And I think she understood that and then she respects her teammates and her teammates were on her and then she did what we needed. Felt like the third quarter was just a compounding of issues, whether or not getting those offensive rebounds, not the soft selection that you wanted. How were you able to maybe get your team's focus back? Maybe it didn't come to the fourth quarter, but what was that turning point for you? Yeah, we weren't getting any stops. And so what, what was fueling our offense and our transition in the first two quarters was we were getting stops and we were going to score, but we weren't getting any stops. So then we were having to take the ball out, we were slow, and then we weren't hitting shots, so we weren't playing as hard. So it was just a, a multitude of terrible things. And so they just were reset. I reminded them, it was on the scout, it's gonna be a game of runs. We, they got ours, we got theirs, and it was the fourth quarter was gonna come down to who played the hardest. Ryan, uh, excuse me, Caleb, and then Jack. You've mentioned that resiliency. Was that a surprise to see how resilient they were, or when did you realize this group was that resilient? Um, I was hoping we were resilient. I've seen flashes of it, but I've also seen flashes of the third quarter where things don't go our way. And so again, just another learning point of we need to be more resilient and not let just little mistakes add up. Um, 16 turnovers for Florida State. How do you think the press did tonight against this opponent? Yeah, this was a hard team. This team doesn't turn it over. They averaged 10 turnovers a game. So we knew that the pressure would look a little bit different. It did definitely in the first quarter. We weren't maybe necessarily turning them over as much, but they were taking rush shots. And then they did a better job of settling into it in the second half. And we weren't hitting shots, so we couldn't get into our press. So it was just not a great second half for us because we couldn't really do what we wanted to do. Cora and then Casey. Uh, Alyssa and Jill had some really great moments defensively tonight, just being that presence in the paint. Also, both had some really nice offensive plays. Just how happy are you with their development, and how important will that be to be able to rely on them defensively to you know, get those stops and defend without fouling? Yeah, it's huge. We're going to need them as we get into the league. We're going to need size, and they did a good job. They're getting better. All of our bigs are getting better uh, offensively and defensively. So they had some big stops, definitely.
in that third quarter, just from a coach's perspective, what was your biggest kind of point of frustration that you had? Um, our lack of urgency on defense and the fact that we were just turning the ball over and not hustling back. You know, we just didn't, we just kind of quit a little bit there. For, and you can't do that against a team that can score like they can. Maria. Coach, I, I know it's early and a gauntlet is coming up when, when you get into SEC play, but is this kind of a big win for this team at this point in the season, especially any momentum going up to New York soon and, and playing against Iowa? Yeah, it's a big win for us. I definitely think, I think it's a really good team. I think it's a really hard matchup for us because normally we like to play teams that we can speed up and that team is better. The more sped up, the better they are. And so that was a hard matchup for us and it's good for us to see different types of teams this early too, but definitely. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys.